This is our dwarf variegated caracara orange. I know that's a mouthful, but this is the most delicious orange that I think I've ever had in my life. It has super low acidity, so it's not incredibly sour. It's super sweet, but not overly sweet. And I swear you can taste the nectar of the flower in the fruit. The Caracara orange thrives in warm and subtropical climates. It requires a moderate amount of sunlight and prefers temperatures between 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 21 to 29 Celsius. Caracara oranges prefer well-drained soil with a pH level between 6 and 7. They can tolerate a variety of soil types, including sandy and loamy soils. It's typically propagated through grafting onto rootstocks, like many other citrus, though it is possible to air layer this as well. Regular pruning is necessary to maintain the tree's shape and promote healthy growth. Adequate irrigation is essential, especially during dry periods. Fertilization should be done regularly to provide the necessary nutrients for optimal growth and fruit production. Most citrus are heavy feeders and demand high nitrogen. But what makes the Caracara orange unique? The Caracara orange is completely seedless, making it convenient and easy to enjoy. One of the most distinctive features of the Caracara orange is its vibrant pink flesh, which adds a pop of color to any dish or drink. In addition to its unique characteristics, the Caracara orange is also packed with nutritional benefits. It's an excellent source of vitamin C, fiber, and antioxidants. The unique pink color of the Caracara orange is due to the presence of lycopene. What is lycopene? Lycopene is an antioxidant. It's a carotenoid, and it's actually related to beta carotene. And early medical research says that these are the kinds of things that fight cancer. So if you care about fighting cancer, Lycopene is a powerful antioxidant that is also responsible for the red color of tomatoes and watermelons. In the case of the Caracara orange, the lycopene pigment gives the fruit a distinctive pink hue. The Caracara orange, also known as the red-fleshed navel orange, was first discovered in the mid-20th century in Venezuela. The actual genetics are hard to trace down. Some sources said that it was a natural mutation of the navel orange, but other sources say that it is a cross between the Brazilian navel and the Washington navel. Either way, it's incredible. And unlike a lot of the fruits I mentioned here, this one actually has a chance of showing up in your grocery store. In the 1980s, the Caracara orange was introduced to the United States and gained popularity for its distinct color and taste. It is now cultivated in various citrus growing regions across California, Arizona, Florida, and my backyard. And I'm sorry if the Comfrey's in the way, but the pollinators are going crazy on it. We usually use it for chop and drop, but I can't take it away from the pollinators. Once the flowers are done, we'll feed it to the soil. The soil will feed it to the Caracara orange, and we get to eat the delicious fruit. Okay, but what does it actually taste like? Well, it tastes like orange candy, but better because it's full of vitamin C and lycopene. Mmm. I mean, it's like a navel orange, but it's low acidity. So there's less sourness, same amount of sweetness, but because there's less sourness, you can taste the orange more clearly. And like I said, there's a, almost a nectar flavor in there. This is honestly the most delicious orange that I'm aware of. And I know of more than a few. Mm. They say these are easy to peel. That hasn't been my experience but I like to use them just like wedges, like, like soccer practice in middle school, you know, elementary school, soccer practice, halftime, orange wedges. Yeah. Mm. Find these for yourself. Thanks for watching everybody. Keep growing.